Yo, what's up? It's your boy Finest Wine. So today we're gonna be talking about Kenya Moore's thirst bucket late ass for wearing this damn costume on the most recent episode of the Real Housewives of Atlanta for the Halloween costume party that Fallon had. Kenya Moore's thirst bucket ass decides to wear an Indian costume like I looked at the damn costume my damn self and I said oh this is really crazy as hell but we know Kenya Moore she comes with her always shenanigans and shit that's what she do like when she showed up in Marvel's uh hair event and showed up with her shenanigans so it's 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 cute when she does it but when you go this far to do this shit now it becomes offensive to a lot of people so can you more pipe your ass down? Go find Mark and sh- sit down and shut the fuck up. Go, you know, find you some something hard in your life. Because that's probably what you're lacking. You need something hard. <laughs> so she had to issue an apology because uh, the Native American people was like, look. This shit is whack as fuck. You wearing this damn costume that's very offensive to a lot of people. Bravo, you and all you other people need to correct this shit like immediately. So Kenya Moore issued an apology. It's very important that I uh, speak about the apology to you guys. It's exactly what she said. You guys hit that subscribe button. Share me out. And let's go. Kenya Moore says, I want to sincerely apologize for inappropriate wearing the Native American headdress as a costume. I now realize that this was both disrespectful and insensitive and would never have done it had I had that knowledge and understanding beforehand. I regret it. When you know better, you do better. I am genuinely sorry. So basically what kicked everything off is illuminative is the native-led nonprofit focus on raising visibility of native issues and voices released a statement following the episode. They had an issue with what Kenya Moore did, so I'm going to read their statement. They not only had a problem with Kenya Moore, they had a problem with Bravo and all the other production crews that were there to not be able to pull her coattail and say this is inappropriate. We are deeply disturbed by last night's episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta in which Kenya Moore wore a Native American warrior princess costume. We had hoped it would provide a teachable moment. However, in retrospect, it is clear that the network did not address this properly given the gravity of the situation. The network added, we apologize to both the Native American community and our audience as a whole. You know, a lot of people didn't pull her coattail in that moment, which they should have. Bravo, Andy Cohan, you name it. An activist group called Illuminative, which I have just been speaking about, led the charge against Moore and Bravo by writing a lengthy statement on Instagram Monday, ripping costumes that any costumes that mock Native people's. We are deeply disturbed by last night's episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta in which Kenya Moore wore a Native American warrior princess costume. The group said the following costumes that mock Native peoples defame our traditions and cultures and perpetuate negative stereotypes are racist. Playing Indian is a form of masquerade. That is not just offensive and so many other things. Kenya Moore, why? Why do you continue with your antics? It is a part of a long history of how Native peoples have been dehumanized. The nonprofit initiative created and led by Native Americans added that they are incredibly concerned that none of the producers or executives at Bravo, Comcast, All the other big names that are there, NBC Universal, Bravo's parent company, they should have intervened. So Kenya Moore, stop with your bullshit, your antics. Go somewhere, go with go find Mark and do that shit with. You know, y'all do y'all thing. Oh, I forgot he said he don't want your ass. So 
With that being said, go find you some hard, some really hard that's going to penetrate your ass the right way. But <laughs> anyway, you guys, take it easy. I just had to give you that quick update. Much love. Hit the subscribe button.